We got some absolutely crazy Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 4 news! Let's talk about these leaked audition tapes and the scoops out there all referring to the Multiverse of Madness, WandaVision, and what exactly is going to be happening in Phase 4. What's up everybody, it's Josh. Happy Marvel Mondays to you. If you're watching this video on Monday and if you're not, no big deal, but you should know, we drop dope Marvel videos every single Monday. Do me a favor, smash that like, let's go. All right, there's wild MCU stuff going on. I guess slight spoiler warning if you don't want to know anything about WandaVision, then why are you watching my channel? Honestly, that's we do this a lot. We talk about rumors. We talk about leaks. So it's what we do. What are you doing? What are you even doing here? Let's talk about the fact that Quicksilver's likely coming back. He's coming back to life in WandaVision. You didn't see that coming. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there were leaked audition tapes for the children of Wanda Maximoff out there, and they appear to be real as Marvel did take these down really quickly. You can still find them on certain places on the internet, but these are definitely audition tapes for the roles of Wanda Maximoff's children for the WandaVision show. Now, what's really interesting is in the tapes themselves, the kids are actually talking about waking up their uncle, who's apparently asleep on the couch in the living room, and they're kind of going back and forth they don't want to wake him up they think he'll be grumpy or whatever but bottom line they're referring to waking up a character who is of course pietro her brother their uncle it's quicksilver quicksilver's coming back he's gonna be in the show now just to sort of refresh your memory and just kind of keep you up to speed on where we're at with wandavision we know kind of a good bit of what the plot will kind of be like and how that series will take place it is said to sort of start as this weird sitcom where they actually even film certain episodes in front of a live audience which is kind of cool and it eventually warps goes kind of david lynch in the middle and then ends up going full-on mcu type actiony adventure avengers type thing what's crazy crazy about this is we did know or at least it was rumored that the kids were going to show up that Wiccan and Speed the famous young Avengers that are of course the child of uh, Wanda and Vision they were going to be in this show so it really looks like that is what we're going to be getting the show is going to start out with their family in this sitcom like setting and you're going to be like how did we get here exactly and it'll all sort of start to unravel we also know that this show is going to lead right into Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness and that Wanda is going to be playing a big role in Doctor Strange 2, The Multiverse of Madness. This was talked about at San Diego Comic-Con and at D23. And what's cool about this is it likely means that they are adapting some kind of a version of the House of M. And quick TLDR, if you don't know what the House of M was, it was a storyline in which WandaVision, as the Scarlet Witch, is literally so powerful that she just changes the universe. She creates a whole new universe and dimension where there are barely any mutants. There's a lot of weird changes that happen to established Marvel characters. And what does that sound like to you? It should probably sound a lot like what they're referring to as the craziness from the WandaVision Disney Plus show. So the smart money is on whatever this weird thing that's going on in WandaVision that is created by Wanda. That Wanda with her immense power has warped reality and that that has ramifications. Now in my mind, I think ramifications had already started because of the snap and because of just the chaos after Endgame. I, I continue to believe that our, our heroes did not get out of that clean. That's just some weird cosmic <laughs> happening probably gonna bring maybe the celestials back in eternals they're gonna be like no 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 earthlings why you do that to them stones and all of that like it just i think it's all coming together but of course wanda going absolute crazy with her powers and creating her own dimension that's likely not good either right so that's going to lead into the craziness of the multiverse of madness now a couple of rumor things that people are talking about online and and i want to sort of speculate about because look it's just fun to speculate about this like people like why why you spread rumors around why you do that why you talk about this if it's not confirmed because it's in fun because i like doing it so if you think it's fun too smash that like and let's speculate the out of this but okay anyway there's a couple of tweets out there by charles murphy and he was he did a story basically speculating that namor could actually be in doctor strange 2 in the multiverse of madness now namor is a hot button thing a lot of people are trying to figure out where this character is going to plug in and there were comments made by somebody at marvel could have even been feige saying that there's going to be a character in doctor strange 2 that marvel has always wanted to use and because many of us know that namor is a character that they've wanted to use 
used for a long time over at Marvel Studios. Maybe it's Namor. Maybe Namor is going to be in Doctor Strange 2. Now there's also a scoop out there right now by Mikey Sutton. And I know Mikey Sutton doesn't have the best reputation and everything. So take this with a grain of salt. And I believe it is just something that he has heard from someone. So I, again, speculation, right? But probably not a totally real story, possibly still something that could happen. Let's just have fun. But anyway, let me read right from this Reddit post on the Marvel Studios spoiler subreddit. He's talking about the Illuminati debuting in Doctor Strange 2 in the Multiverse of Madness. So he says here, the uh, movie will delve into strangeness of the comics. It will introduce Strange to new worlds that normal heroes like the Avengers could not possibly comprehend. It's very much influenced by the psychedelic creations of Steve Ditko. Throughout the film, Doctor Strange will put together a team of very special heroes from throughout the multiverse to help combat these threats. Apparently, Mr. Fantastic and Professor X will be a part of the group, which goes with Feige's recent comments about unexpected characters appearing in the film. Black Bolt, Namor, and Black Panther will be a part of the group as well. Apparently, Feige has always wanted to use mutants in the MCU, and we know this from the deleted scene from the first Iron Man movie. This movie could be where they are finally introduced. Professor X's appearance will plant the seed for the X-Men and could imply that the group has existed in secret for years, with Doctor Strange and a few select others being privy to that information. Uh, the WandaVision ties directly into the film as a result of Wanda's reality meddling. There's now a dimensional rift that brings in all sorts of danger to our world. Uh, Marvel still wants The Rock to play Namor, yada, 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 blah, 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 blah. Look, point is, what they are saying here is that the Illuminati could be created in this series. And the thing is, I actually do believe, because there were other reports from last year talking about how Doctor Strange would be going throughout the multiverse and sort of collecting a team, that actually there could be a, not only are we bringing in people from this reality that Wanda created, but that there could be opportunity to bring in other past heroes, dead heroes. Some people speculating, even Robert Downey Jr. maybe, coming from other dimensions into our dimension, or at least for this ride with Doctor Strange. Now, this sounds a little bit like the Exiles, but you know what else this sounds like, guys? This sounds like one of my favorite runs in comics of all time. The thing I talk about here on the channel all the time, the Jonathan Hickman Secret Wars, and the lead up to that with Time Runs Out, because you might not know this, but the start of that story in the New Avengers book was the meeting of the Illuminati with Professor X. Well, actually, Professor X was dead. It was Beast that took over for him. Um, but with that mutants being represented, with Namor, with Black Panther, who had never before actually joined the Illuminati, and it was really interesting that he did, especially considering his beef with Namor, and, of course, Doctor Strange, Captain America, and Black Bolt. So what's crazy about this is that they're kind of putting together the very team that was literally dealing with, like, these super cosmic threats. What was happening in that comic book run was that different Earths throughout the multiverse were colliding. And the Illuminati on Earth were, like, the only people that knew about it. And they were doing shady things, crazy things to try to protect uh, the multiverse and try to stop this bad thing from happening. They were called the incursions, right? That's what time run out runs out was and it leads directly into secret wars which i continue to believe is where we are going that's the 2024 big event film is likely the first secret wars or battle world film but to me it would be so stinking cool if we get this actually happening with some version of the illuminati look it's mikey sutton it's speculation we don't know for sure but I just wanted to talk about it. I wanted to bring it up to you guys. So that's the news out there, guys. There's actual news with the leaked stuff and, and, and the fact that Wiccan and Speed are coming, the fact that WandaVision has moved up. All this stuff's really crazy. And then there's some speculation out there, uh, a speculative article that Charles Murphy did. By the way, Charles Murphy's coming onto the channel soon to do a chat. That's going to be real cool. And then, of course, another a Mikey Sutton thing as well. So let me know what you think about that. I think it's kind of cool, but what do you think? And now let's shout out Royalty Johnson. Indeed, WandaVision is the Disney Plus show that was pushed up from 2021 to 2020. So shout out to you, Royalty. And now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here. I want to know what Marvel hero was the one that actually stopped Wanda in the House of M? Who is the person that actually eventually beat her in that storyline, House of M from the comics? Answer that question in the comment section below. As I always say, I hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day, and I'll see you in the next video.